Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. You will see the details of the products and the services that we offer. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Okay, let me just shuffle the cards because it's just so... Okay. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation, Scorpio. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. For private reading for our merchandise, please go towards our website. And please don't forget to click the bell, to click subscribe. And if you're resonating, Scorpio, I would appreciate it if you click the like button, okay? For those who have donated last week up to this date, thank you so much. My charity is going to be so happy. I think I would be accepting one more. I think in total we're sending three. I think with your donation, I would be able to send another one. One more kid to school, Scorpio. Isn't it nice? Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much again. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's the guided message for Scorpio, please? Okay. Let's look into your overall energy. You have the Ace of Wands. You've got this bright idea. Okay, you've got this... You know, you've got this... Um, I'm kind of feeling like in the next 24 hours, you have this, there's a glow in you, Scorpio. There's something that, um, there's something spiritual or magical that would happen that um, your glow, it would start to resume. It could be you had like an eight hours or more than, more than eight hours of sleep. You know, I feel like this Ace of Wands, it's connected to your vitality. You... I don't know, one of these days, maybe this week, you would have like a 8 to 10 or 12 hours of sleep. And it just feels amazing. You just wake up with a zing, full of energy and full of passion and inspiration. You know, it feels like for the very first time, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes when you're too tired, you you forgot how it feels to rest. You Like when your life is too busy, 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 and suddenly... You experience a good eight, I don't know, nine, ten, twelve hours of sleep. It's amazing. You know, that's the ace of wands. So for some of you, if you feel like you're losing your creative or your if you feel like you're you're losing your spark, you know, um, you're losing your motivation, maybe you just really need a good sleep. And it will bring you back. To life it will bring you back to you know when you're fully rested you have full of energy and then so much energy so much potential like you will you'll be able to tap into more creative vibe i mean in general this ace of wands you just wake up full of energy because you had a good amazing sleep well rested so good on you scorpion maybe that's what you need if you feel like you're low low energy good amazing sleep a good restful sleep scorpio okay ace of wands now let's pick up more intuitive message for you scorpio you've got the justice card the nine of swords and the strength card i feel like this justice card this speaks about you moving on okay like you're giving it's more of a reading where you're giving justice to yourself you know you're giving the justice card like you're justifying you're justifying to yourself that um you're justifying something justified something something about you like for you want to be fair to your soul you want to be fair to your life you want to be fair with your family with your friends like 
I'm kind of picking up a very, you know, like your friends, your family care about you so much that they don't want you to be hurt. They don't want you to be in the same toxic cycle. So for them, for the sake of their care, you would move on from the past, okay? There's something in here because of the love and support that you receive from your friends, from your family, the care and love that you're getting from them. You want to be you want to give them a justified result, a justified answer. You want to show to them that you can justify a good something you can balance your life, you know, Ten of Swords. Because this Nine of Swords, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you, you were dealing with something complicated. You were dealing with something difficult. And you didn't, maybe you're not noticing or you're not appreciating how many people loves you. Or your friends, your family, you know, they care about you. They love you. You've got an amazing support. Even if you just won, even if you just you know, you have one or two or friends, but if they're solid to you, like they consistently, I have very few friends, but they're really friends, friends that would really check on me, that would say, I love you to me. I will, I, had, I know a lot of people because I'm sunshine, you know, so it's so easy for me to attract new acquaintances, but I'm very picky with friends. So just to share that um, you, you might not have that entire you maybe have 400 friends in your social media, but you can really say you've got few solid friends and family members that cares about you, that if they don't hear from you, they're going to call you, you know. You just need one or two solid, solid connections, solid friends that, um, that really loves you. So I think there's a, some sort of inspiration coming from that, justified, ten of, nine of swords. Like, because my family, like... It, it, it's kind of telling me this is you strength card you know this is you the strength card which means that you're telling yourself i've got i got this you know i got this i will overcome this i will find balance i will be calm i will solve the problem i will be fine because i'm surrounded i'm strong because I've got my family, I've got my friends. So maybe Scorpio, if you feel like you're losing hope, you're losing energy or drive to fight for something you believe, or maybe you have a general problem, let's put it that way. If you have a general problem or worries and concern, your family, your friends, the universe loves you. And that is where you're getting your strength to wake up in the morning and to let you know that you've got friends and family that supports you or love you. Or maybe you've got a romantic situation. But your love, you know, the justice card, it's more of a reading where for, okay, let me just download the message. For, for the love I get from my family, from my friends, and miracles. Did you notice, Scorpio, that when you really need help, the universe will send you miracles, unexpected help from strangers? So for this this justice card, you will overcome the nine of swords because this is you. Your enemy in here is that demon inside of you, okay? You are going to release the demon inside of you because you are loved by others. Like the strength card, your strength to repel or reject this nine of swords, this overthinking, the demon inside of you, the bad vibe, the worries, the overthinking... Is because you're getting your strength from your family and for your friends. And that is the justified result. That is a justified way of living life. That you don't give up. Because people doesn't give up on you. Your, friend does, your friends doesn't give up on you. Your family doesn't give up on you. The world doesn't give up. The universe doesn't give up on you. I don't give up on you, Scorpio. I do videos every day to inspire you. So don't give up on me too okay so there's a lot of tools that you realize okay i love my life i'm gonna justify how i live because i'm getting strength i'm getting my strength because of the support i get from my family from my friends from the sunshine team from the scorpio ascending team these are my inspiration to give my life a justified way of living so it's a reading where it's reminding you that whatever you're going through you can fight it off because you've got so much support. And that is how you justify your living in here. 
your, your life in general. So that's quite deep. That's quite deep. So I hope that inspires you, Scorpio. Okay. Now, that is that strength card. You're getting your strength from your friends, from your family, your inspiration. Your strength and inspiration to live and to fight off the demons, the worries, and concern. It's coming from the external energy. And this justice card, it, it points out to that. That you're so blessed, you are alive, so you have to justify your living. Like you have to justify the you you have to justify to the universe that I'm worth living, I'm worth this life, I'm worth the love of my friends and family and the universe because I am gonna overcome this. Okay, Scorpio, I think that's really nice. All right, now let's pick up more intuitive message for you. Um, you've got the devil card. Okay, this is one of those things in life that will never go away. For as long as you're alive, there's always demons, you know, um, external of us. The demons represent, the devil represents challenges, um, complicated situation, complicated people. You know, this represents challenge, you know. And the thing with the devil card, it's so hard to resist or it's so hard to fight off because... We want to be involved in the devil. This is a very tricky situation. So I feel like in the next in the next two to three days, you might the devil card this week, this month. There's gonna be a situation connected to the Knight of Cups, the Devil card, the Knight of Cups here, the Devil card, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like it's romantic. Scorpio. Hmm. So this Knight of Cups, it's definitely romantic or someone who's giving you support, someone who's giving you love. The Knight of Cups, this is a very loving person. This is a very giving person. It's giving you something, the Knight of Cups. Look at that. The Knight of Cups looks hot. You know, he's wearing a short. <laughs> and, you know, the thing with this Knight of Cups that has a devil energy is that it's coming from the past and it has history. It has history, Scorpio. And you just came out from the strength card, meaning to say you're fully recharged. You know, you're fully recharged, fully inspired. And this devil card and Knight of Cups comes into your life. I'd say this is one of those energies or person or people that you try to overcome. You outthrow this devil. This devil is connected to the Knight of Cups. You know, I feel like Scorpio are scared to connect or get to know this Knight of Cups again. It's coming from the past. If it's not the same person, it could be this Knight of Cups. It has a resemblance of something or someone in the past. The devil card, the Knight of Cups. I have this feeling that you've just recharge you've just reset you know ace of wands fully healed you've just woken from an 8 10 12 hours of sleep fully recharge and then the strength card you have so much thankfulness to your friends or family to the universe for all of the support and love in now the devil card the knight of cups is back Something tells me that you just got back from your feet. You know, you just gotten out of a, like, you're just good. You're just feeling good. Super cleanse, super clear, super focused. And then this first customer that comes in your life is a Knight of Cups and the Devil card. Let's see. Oh, the Two of Wands. Yeah, very soon. I would say, Scorpio, you've got a returning offer from the past. And you're you're so scared to try I feel like it's a reading because the outcome is hangman. Very soon, in the next two to three days, Scorpio, there is going to be an offer, a connection, a situation from the past, and it's offering you a Knight of Cups. Two things. They want to be friends again. They want to be acquaintance again. There is an again. They want it again, Scorpio. And it's going to happen so fast. Like this is a wave. You look at that. It looks like a road. You know, it's it's gonna dive and then up and down like it's 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 coming for you, Scorpio. 
So there's going to be, again, here we go again, energy that will connect with you, Knight of Cups. Mm. The outcome is the hangman. You're very curious. There is a lot of curiosity coming from you, Scorpio, hangman. You will never know unless you try. You will never know the outcome, whether this person is serious or not, if you don't dive into it, if you don't take a leap of faith again. Your worry, higher of hand card. This is you. You're very focused on your goal. You just wrap yourself with all of the love you need. You're very strong. If you involve yourself in here again, it could trigger you something in the past that you're trying to move on. So you're very careful. Hey, this, this is the Queen of Cups. Yeah. This person is a knight. You are a queen. You know, you're reading Scorpio. It has, maybe you're not yet sitting in this energy, but soon you will understand that you're very protective of your emotional capability, your emotional intelligence, your emotional intuitiveness. You're so, you're in the level of emotionally, emotionally available but you still have you still have a fragments or you're still vul vulnerable to be to be um to fail to failure and it's a reading where your vibe in here is that you just you just gotten out of a you're still like in a very fragile very fragile kind of vibe in here and yet this person comes along you're gonna listen to your intuition definitely high priestess you're being guided, I feel like it's more of a test, Scorpio, the high priestess. You're reading to me, you just got back to yourself, strength card. You're full of, you're tapping into your intuition, you're listening to your inner voice, you're supported by friends and family, they believe in you, you believe in yourself, your strength is, your strength is coming from your intuition, high priestess from your friends from your family from your experience so you are i would say you're being protected you're being protected by something okay you there's a universal protection that's wrapped around you now this person you're kind of wondering sunshine i'm so over this why it's returning to me you possibly have said goodbye to this, but they're still manifesting you. And because you're high frequency, sometimes when you're so high of frequency, you could pull someone from the low vibration. So this situation, it's returning to you to either you reject it, you accept it, you forgive it, or you move on. So you've got four, like, there's something in here that would give you a closure. When I say closure, it means that, you know, sometimes you forgive people, but you don't have to accept them in your life. So if you don't want this, you just really have to reject it and move on. Or maybe this one needs forgiveness, mental closure, emotional closure. Sometimes we need that. I remember my ex came back to me. I thought I was angry. And when he messaged me, I was like, I have no feelings at all because mentally emotionally intuitively oh i didn't know that I, I have forgiven that person a long time ago but i never knew that it was gone already N not until they messaged me so i would say when once this person or situation connects with you you would realize two things whether you have moved on or you have not moved on you know there's a trigger there's also a chance in here, but it's depending on you, Scorpio, because I'm seeing here the high priestess in here, like your third eye. There's something, there's something unfinished about this, and the universe is asking you about this. The reason why I could not pick up more, because the hangman, the outcome is a hangman. You will never know unless you open the Pandora's box. If it comes to you and in your intuition each one of you would have a different reaction. Each of each one of you, Scorpio, would react differently with the situation. Some of you will 
dive deeper, dive right away and explore. Some of you is like, no. So you've got a choice, yes or no, but it will definitely trigger you something. It's either you reject it and move on, you forgive it and move on, you forgive it and accept it, or you can totally don't do anything and wait for a couple of days to figure out how do you actually manage it or don't manage it at all. Don't reply, don't respond. You would know, hangman, you would know when it comes to you. You would know what to do once they call you or text you. Once this thing connects with you, you would know. Accept, move on, forgive, move on, reject, accept, try again. It could be that way. I'm seeing a lot of variation in here. You've got powerful energies in here. The High Priestess and the Hierophant card. So your intuition is really guiding you. And you're emotionally intuitive. You're emotionally connected with this person. You're drawn to this person emotionally. You've got deep connection with this person. Remember, you're the queen. This person is just a knight. Is it a knight? Yeah, it's a knight of cups. And it's coming from the past. So I would say you have all of the tools and the experience to figure out whether they're telling you the truth or they're sincere to you. But one thing is sure about this person or situation is that there's a past connected or attached that you would have to face if you start talking or connecting or accepting to this one, one card. Yeah. You got, you got to be solid, you know, Scorpio. You've got to be solid when you decide. There's something in here that you've got to use your... You've got to use your full strength to decide in here. You've got to use your full strength, mental strength, and emotional strength to, ref to, to deal with it. Whether you get rid of it, you say goodbye to it, you forgive it, accept it. But it's, it's going to be needing your strength in here, Scorpio. Yep, that's probably why you're super duper recharged. It's possible that there... It, yeah, I'm kind of picking up. That's the reason why the universe is giving it to you now. Because you've got the skills, the experience to deal with it. Look at the lion fears. Look at that. Thank you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for your support. It's a pleasure doing the readings, you guys. I will connect to you very soon. You have a great day.